Really what I expected, but it's not bad. Glad you like it. Fig, Melody, feel free to make yourselves at home too. Thank you for everything, Arrow. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. Arrow, you were trying to save Melody because of that light form thing, right? Guess there's no point in hiding it now, is there? Yeah, that's right. The Covenant came out of Melody and then went into me. <sighs> of course. It's because I died. I get that these Covenant things are important somehow, but I'm only just now starting to wrap my head around it. Can you tell me more about them? You two are Devil Summoners, after all. <laughs> all right. This is my understanding of it. Covenants are like a big source of energy, and they've been passed down from soul to soul for generations. Supposedly, these Covenant holders wield great power. What kind of power? Well, simply put, Possessing a Covenant awakens the Holder's latent abilities. In some cases, it can even spark, well, evolution. They say there's a total of five Covenants out there. Having one as powerful as it is, but the effects would only go as far as the individual could take them. Now, if someone were to possess all five, then that'd be something else entirely. You could what? You could call forth what's known as the Great One, a being prophesied to bring ultimate destruction to the world as we know it. That's what they say, at least. Summoning this Great One is Phantom's top priority. Am I right, Melody? Please. You don't really need me to confirm that, do you, Mr. Double Agent? If the Holder dies, the Covenant gets passed on to someone else. As a result, there's almost always some sort of conflict surrounding them. What a surprise. I see now. So when Melody died, the Covenant found a new owner in Fig. These Covenants and this world-ending Great One you mentioned. I believe these may be the seeds that make Ion's prediction come true. Gotta be. Considering we're trying to stop the end of the world, the Phantom Society's shaping up to be a pretty big obstacle. Agreed. And now that we know their intentions, we must protect this covenant inside of me at all costs. That's going to be a problem for me. Forget it, Melody. Our summoning abilities are... changed. We don't have control over our demons. Ringo does. We think it might be due to the soul hack. Excuse me? No one told me about this. Don't look at me. There's no point in blaming Arrow. He's in the same boat as you, Melody. 
Go ahead and explain it to her, Ringo. Well, it's not as if I wanted to take your powers. I'm not all that sure how it happened myself. I sincerely hope you don't intend to steal my freedom as a summoner. That's exactly the kind of low tactic Yatagarasu would pull. No, you've got it all wrong. I really was trying to help. Were you? Then can you prove to me that you and Little Miss High Tech here aren't in on this together? All right, that's enough. Melody, just what is the Covenant to you? I don't think I need to explain why the Phantom Society needs summoners, do I? Right. So you're after the end of the world too, huh? Hey, Ringo. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. What's up? Ion aren't human, right? So why was the Covenant passed on to Fig? What are you, really? We agents of Ion are highly intelligent beings born from a sea of information. By installing an ego into a simulated human body, the foundation is laid for a soul to develop alongside it. So a machine can have a soul? Is that so strange? Your bodies are practically machines too, albeit fleshy ones. Even for our kind, there is still a lot about the soul that remains unknown. Like where they come from, or what they truly are. We're no experts either. But the self-evident truth is, should one accurately recreate a human body and provide it with a means of control, then a soul will naturally take root. In other words, it's not just this mechanical shell, or rather, this body at play. It's a complex chain of different physiological reactions that shape the soul. <sighs> yeah, I didn't get any of that. Okay, then we're supercomputers trapped inside grandfather clocks. In even plainer terms, our origins may be different, but we are more or less the same as humans. The trade-off is, in this form we can't operate at Ion's full power nor do we have access to massive amounts of data like we used to. Ah, oh, I see. I guess that's why they said this form was the most ideal for our mission. Can't really soul hack if you don't have a soul yourself, can you? Oh, that's right, Ringo. I meant to tell you earlier, but I've made a new discovery. It's about Target Alpha, Ichiro Onda. If I remember right, that's the famous computer engineer. What about him? Fig was acting separately from me at the time. She was trying to protect Onda just as I was trying to protect you, Arrow. The mission was a failure, but I managed to restore the surveillance camera footage. I found a video of what happened in the 24th Ward Municipal Tower. And? He was killed by someone named Iron Mask. Did you say Iron Mask? The leader of Project C finally makes his move. It was him. So, you know him. You are? He called himself Iron Mask. Are you absolutely certain? Let's take a look at the footage. Outputting video. Impressive. I can't imagine how many security measures were in your way. You're no mere trespasser. Ichiro Onda, I presume. The greatest computer engineer of our time. It's a pleasure. And you are? I am the leader of Project C. You may call me Iron Mask. <laughs> a bit on the nose. Was Black Suit taken? Or are you a prisoner broken free? Well, it's fine. 
You're welcome to celebrate with me, masked man. So is your little wallflower. <sighs> it's complete. A system to shatter the status quo with a perfect name to shake the very foundation of Akadim. The Omni System. Glorious, isn't it? Can't you feel its power? But now it's finished, and I'm done with it. If you're a thief, then go ahead and take it. You've designed a masterpiece, Doctor. The Omni System will uplift mankind to new heights. Alas, I'm afraid your part in our grand pageant ends here. We want something quite different from you. I should have known. If you don't want my creation, then you must be after me. Well, what dwells within me? You want the Covenant? Ah, you're already aware. You do know I'm a genius. <laughs> Say, masked man. One last tip. Call it a parting gift from a genius. No one can control the future. Iron Mask. I have a future. Ichiro Anna, your covenant serves you well, but it will serve me far better. So that's it. Ichiro Ando was a Covenant holder, too. And we got a good look at Iron Mask. Plus, whatever that freaky, murdery guy was. The guy that tore out Ando's Covenant, you mean? Strength like that definitely isn't human. Not really. All I know is he called that thing Zenin. He also referred to it as a vessel for the Covenants. A vessel for the Covenants, huh? It seems he lacked the power to fend off their attack. Say, Melody, if you and Iron Mask are an item, why is he after you? <laughs> Ringo, what would you say to working together? You help me meet with Iron Mask. What's in it for me? I'll help you prevent this end of the world or whatever you've been going on about. And I'll give you all of the Covenant Holders' names. Deal? You sure? I thought you wanted the world to end. Some things take priority. All right then, Melody. It's a deal. Rather quick to trust, aren't you? Not at all. But we both benefit from this. And for now, that's all I need. Speaking of which, I'm hoping we can count you in too, Arrow. Sure. It's not like I don't have stakes in this. All right then. It's settled. Let's all just try to get along from here on out. Seeing as he was a double agent, I guess you can't exactly cozy up to him right away, huh? Not in your wildest dreams. Still, I won't drag my feet around, so you've got nothing to worry about there. That works for me. Though if possible, 
I'd appreciate it if you'd stop glaring at me like that. But of course. Thanks. You guys can do whatever you want, just as long as we work together. On to the main topic. Melody, if you could go over the Covenant holders for us. Right. These are the five people the Phantom Society had marked as Covenant holders. First is Iron Mask, leader of the Covenant Recovery Project, or Project C. He's a Covenant holder as well. The Covenant Recovery Project. How is the Phantom Society able to identify these individuals? A Covenant holder can detect another simply by looking at them. A quick glance in their direction is all it takes. Coupling that with the organization's power, the Phantom Society has been able to identify Covenant holders for a long time. Up next, we have Ichiro Onda, our late computer engineer. He held a Covenant, but had no summoning ability. Going off the security footage we just saw, his Covenant is currently being held by that man, Zenon. This means Iron Mask is in possession of at least two Covenants at this time. The third Covenant holder is a Devil Summoner, Mangetsu Kuzunoha. I imagine a certain someone here knows a lot more about him than I do, though. He's one of Yadagarasu's top devil summoners, and one of the key players in protecting this country. There you have it. The fourth is a man named Saizo, who operates out of Karakacho. He's a freelance summoner who's had dealings with both Yadagarasu and the Phantom Society. And lastly, our fifth covenant holder was me. Though that's clearly not the case anymore. That's the one I currently have. So many of them have switched owners in such a short time. It's kind of hard to follow. Hang on a sec. Does that mean Iron Mask was targeting those two Covenant holders at once? If that's true, then the others could be in danger too. Milady, any idea where Saizo might be? Word is, he's typically hanging around Bar Hydran about this time. It's over on Jinsando Street. Then that's where we gotta go. You coming, Fig? I'll wait here for everyone. If worse comes to worst, we can't allow our enemies to obtain any more covenants. That said, you'll need an operator of sorts to appraise the situation. So allow me to play that role from the back end. Roger. We'll let you handle things here then. <laughs> 